Good morning, everyone. Mike from CCTV Camera Pros here. In this video, I wanna show you a typical way that I use my home security camera system. I have a Vutron AI camera system installed in my house, and I have a 4K AI camera mounted right there behind me that monitors my entire driveway and out in front of my front yard and a little bit into the sidewalk and street. And I have another 4K AI camera installed by my front door. Uh, this one's a dome. Let me show that one to you. So that, that's our dome model uh, 4K AI camera, and that monitors uh, my front door area here. And what these AI cameras allow me to do is set up intrusion zones and object detection. So the one on my front door, I have an intrusion zone around the front door area to detect any time humans come into the area. And that, the other one that's monitoring my driveway, I have the entire front yard more or less covered with an intrusion zone that'll detect both humans and cars if they come into the area. And now, I use the mobile app to check in on my system. If I ever need to check in to see if something happened, it's real easy for me to use the recorded timeline to jump to any of those AI events that occurred. It's extremely convenient. It saves a ton of time rather than sifting through hours of video where you don't know when something happened. Uh, take a look here in the mobile app and I'll show you how I do it. Here's the live security camera view in the app. I'm going to double tap on my driveway camera to switch to that view. Then I'm going to tap on the play button at the bottom of the screen to open the recorded video playback player. When the video player opens, you will see this blue timeline bar. You can pinch and stretch the timeline to help zero in on a specific time. On the blue timeline bar, notice these yellow areas. These notate times when objects were detected by the AI software. I am going to scroll around on the timeline to play back a few of the object detection events that this camera captured. Next, I'm going to switch to my front door camera by clicking on the back arrow in the upper left, then selecting camera 1. You cannot see it here because I have the view enlarged, but I am tapping on that play button again in the lower part of the app to start the recorded video player on my front door camera. There is only one event so far today, which was me running a test on the intrusion zone that I set up at the front door. Next, I want to show you that you could perform all of those functions with the app in landscape mode. So in landscape mode, uh, the, the video is larger, and I'm going to double tap on my front door camera to bring that up full screen, and then I'm going to switch to the uh, high resolution. And then I'm going to tap on the screen to bring up the menu and tap on the player button in the lower right. That'll bring up the blue timeline bar, and I'm stretching that timeline out so I can see all of the object detection events. In this case, there's just the one again, which was me uh, testing out the, uh, the intrusion zone that I set up at the front door. And I switched the uh, video there to the mainstream so you could see it in high definition. Guys, I hope this video has been helpful. I wanna mention a couple other things before I wrap up. I have my system set up to record on that uh, object detection like you saw, and it's recording continuously whether something is going on or not. And the reason why I do that is, uh, let's say something happens where like an animal comes into my yard and I wanna uh, figure that out. Uh, the object detection only detects humans and vehicles. It's not gonna detect like cats or rodents or things like that. So I do have continuous recording set up as well continuous as well as object detection at the same time. Uh, it's very typical that we help customers set their systems up in that way. And again, these are the Vutron 4K AI camera systems that I'm using at my house. Uh, if you have any questions about any of this, uh, sorry, one other thing. 
In addition to the iPhone app, obviously you can also do that from the Android mobile app, but we also have desktop software for Windows uh, and, and Macintosh that you could do those same types of searches from. You can also search directly on the DVR for object detection events uh, and scroll through a timeline just like you saw in the mobile app. If you have any questions on any of this, feel free to reach out to me anytime. I can be reached at mike at cctvcamerapros.net. If you wanna learn more about these Vutron AI security camera systems, please visit www.cctvcamerapros.com slash AI. Thank you for watching.